Well, Dave, I think it's fair to say that result has, has been a long time coming. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and thoroughly deserved. I said to the players there, they've not got what they deserve this season. All of them have got what they deserve this, this season, but you can't, like I say, use that as an excuse and hop back at it. it, it it's happened. Um, but we, we felt that today was a, like I say, although it was a difficult game, it was an opportunity for us to have a big win in terms of three points but a big win in terms of the impact that it can have on the group and that'll do like I said that'll do everyone in the world the world of good I think you saw however many thousand two thousand off the pitch and twenty sort of on and around the game all wanting to get one one outcome one objective and, and we've got that so they go home happy which is which is great um, like I say we've not done that enough um, and everyone can enjoy the weekend I mean that, that first half performance in particular I think you had eight shots to Bradford's two and, and even before the goal there was a, a confidence and a swagger about County which was, was great to see yeah it was I, I've said that and that was the, that was the pleasing thing really even if you go back to the North I'm the game the pleasing thing of the first half of a team that hadn't won lots of games we were Belief wise, still there. Like I said, I, I, we'll hammer it home. We've got good players. I, I really believe in, in what they can do. It becomes testing and challenging when you don't get the reinforcement of results. Last week's performance again was a, a, a performance full of not overconfidence, but not a team that's been on the on the run we have. Um, and even at the back end of the game, at no point did I feel we were going to or we looked look like we were going to concede. It'd be a little bit different today when you um, when you have to defend that end with the supporters they've got in there. Um, but first half performance was 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 brilliant. We were, we wanted to be brave. Um, we wanted to press. Thought we won the ball in great areas. Probably should have been more in front than what we were. Um, and maybe if that had been the case, we could have managed the the second half better. It became a bit of a um, sort of aerial raid on us in the, in the second half. But we've defended manfully, and um, even look at the second half. I think save wise. Their keepers made made the best save. I'm not sure how he's come. Man of the match. Yeah. Um, so let's say from from our perspective, a, a great three points, and the the players really really deserve a lot of credit. Just looking at the, the penalty incident, it's clever play by Anthony Southwick. Well, important as well to suppose look at the the contribution of Kyle Watson in the build up. I mean, he won practically every ball in that first half. Yeah, we we looked at things, and we, we probably again early in the game, especially with how they lined up. I know I know Timmy well from from the time at Fylde and at Hartlepool, um, and. What he does have is, is really top, top recovery pace. But maybe physically against Woods backing in, we thought that would be an avenue, and certainly in the first part of the game, where we could we could play a little bit more direct and get them on the back foot and, and, and almost let them play in there off of the pitch, knowing that they'd play. Um, and if we pinch the ball, then it's to them about making the right decisions when you get in possession. That We did that brilliantly. Um, and on another day, you get more goals from the, the opportunities we did have but um, no good good play um, Sars got a, a whack hence why why we had to take him off um, but hopefully he'll be fine and contributed to the, the winning goal that gets us a, a welcome three points hey, Tell us about that change it was obviously a, a big decision early in the second half bringing on Ash Palmer was that in relation to, to the changes that they made at the break? No, so Sars so obviously got a, got a whack for the for the penalty half time. He was he was okay, but he was feeling a little bit a little bit sick. Um, he, he didn't. He got a whack on the on the jaw really. So we didn't think it was concussion or anything like that. He just it just felt a bit a bit groggy. Um, we then knew that they were making two changes at half time. Sars so after being sat down for the 15 minutes of the second half said he didn't feel great at all so we had a choice there um, in terms of we were always going to make the change do we make it at half time or what we said to Sars is go out and stand on the pitch for us for two minutes we can have a view of what they're, what they're doing in terms of the change they're making and we can make a decision as to whether whether we change or whether we go to the three with them bringing um, Oliver on and then Angle later down the line it was always going to be an aerial an aerial battle towards the end of the game so it made sense for us to go to a three, shift a little bit. Um, I'd like to, to have been a little bit more aggressive in how we played that three, but I can understand why the, why the players sort of sort of did that. Um, and in saying that, we, we defended really, really well. I can't re remember clear-cut opportunities when um, I think we're lucky not to concede. Um, so I'd like to have a full credit to them. Yeah, I mean, it got <coughs> a little bit fiery at times in that second half. It's probably been a while since both Mark Hughes and Clint Hill have both uh, had a booking, but I thought your players kept the head really well and, and to get that clean sheet as well must be a, a massive bonus. I think, I think the, the game um, for this division was, was massive. Um, the, the, the crowd, the atmosphere, the the quality on show. I thought it was, like I say, I thought it was a really good game. I thought 
it goes without saying we had the better of the, the first half and played an un unbelievable intensity and probably paid the price for that in the, in the second half a little bit but I've shown different facets of what we do to need the game there's always going to be um, <coughs> a little bit of needle involved um, we've probably been on the wrong end of, of, of some of it for the first half of this season but you've got two competitive teams, two massively com uh, competitive group of supporters and, and two competitive benches that want to want to do everything they can during that 90 minutes to beat the, beat the other team. So there was nothing out of hand or untoward or, or things like that. We, we all want, wanted to wanted to win and, and thankfully we, we, we have and um, it's really, really important and we'll, we'll, we'll take three points hand, uh, happily. And a de uh, debut today for, for Callum McDonald. You've obviously had your, your fair share of injuries down that left-hand side in recent weeks. How do you feel he did today? Yeah, uh, great in terms of chucking him in. Callum's been training with us for a, for a couple of weeks, but um, hasn't played a competitive game. We've obviously Chris Hussey coming back uh, again. Really, probably shouldn't have been on the on the bench. He's come back quicker than than we'd potentially expected, but it's ticked off all those boxes. And I just thought towards the end of the game, Callum might get a bit bit a bit leggy in terms of being a competitive, especially with the the intensity we played out in the first half. So I said to Hus, if we could use him for ten minutes in a needs must, probably similar to Sauce last week, really in a needs must capacity, then could he do it? And 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 he, and he said he could. Um, so we've got him coming back. We've obviously got Ryan Rydell on the on the grass uh, next week, um, and hopefully some, like I say, some, some others that um, will just fill out the fill out the squad again and give us give us options, especially in this month, which is really busy. You've got that, that first win uh, away win of the season now, and I think you spoke before the game about coming here with Hartlepool last season and winning, and how that proved a, a turning point. Could this be a, a springboard now for better things? It has to be. Um, like I say. We've not got what we've deserved, and I'll, 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 I'll argue. I'll argue anyone with with that with that point, and we have today. So I've said to the players in there, we have to. Yeah, we we've had a run where we've not got the points we've wanted, but over the next 10, 10 games, if it, or the second ten games, if you like, there's a set number of points that I think we should be we should be getting as a as a minimum. Um, and if you looked at the the two games we played so far, if we got four points out of them, um, maybe in another direction, and won at home against Walsall and, um, and and drawn here, people would say that's not a, not a bad return. I think we're, well, we're very close to getting six points would have been perfect but um, that's certainly a, a good start for us and we've got to take that into the, the next game when it comes around. And just one last word on those travelling county fans, around 2,000 of them here today and I know you've felt that in the first few weeks of the season you've maybe not done them justice but you've certainly sent them home happy today. Yeah, listen, I said at half time, we have got 2,000 fans here that are giving everything for, for us and, and we've given everything in the first half and we had to do that in the second half and I, and I think you did that, we, you saw that. Regardless of um, results. We, we all want to win. We all want to win. But I want a, a team out there that represents me, represents the football club, represents the supporters. I think we have that. And uh, happily today, we can send them home and and they can enjoy the weekend and make sure that when we're back at um, Edge the next week, it's bouncing and look to build on what's been a massive three points for us today. Dave, congratulations. Cheers. Thank you.